Hello everyone, welcome to another Adobe Photoshop CC tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to make any picture look like a vintage picture. One you took in the 60s or 70s when color was coming out. And it's very easy to do, and it is especially easy to do in Adobe Photoshop CC 2017 or CC 2018. Because there's a template built right into it, guys, so you can do it in under like two minutes. And it gives a pretty good look. So let's just get right into this, guys. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to File New. And in Photoshop, it's going to pop up, and you want to go to the top here and click Photo. Now, before you hit the Create button, which we're all so <laughs> quick to do, you want to actually look through these pre-built templates, because on the third line down, there's one called Vintage Photo Effects. That's the one you want to use. Click Open on that. I'll note, if this is your first time using this effect, it will require it to download like the texture and stuff like that, so it could take a few seconds. But follow along with me piece of cake. Now you'll notice here when we open it up we've got a background color, we've got a mask, so we've got this nice little shape with some rough edges on it, we've got vintage photo paper there we go applied and then we've got a nice little smart object where we can very conveniently place our photo. Next thing you want to do is you want to double click on this your photo here and boom we're opened in and off we go. Now the next thing we've got it open here is we want to go file place embedded. Now this is the picture you want to embed. I've got a picture of an old house that I'm going to use, so I'm just going to file place that old house. And yes, let's go ahead and just place it. Now you look at this here, it looks like a nice old house, but it, it doesn't have that old school sepia style look. So that's what we're going for. So now I've placed it in the middle. It's not as large as the bounding box here, so I'm just going to go ahead and increase the size just for um, you know, time sakes and convenience. And let's go with that. How does that look, guys? Remember to hold shift down and pull from one of the four corners if you want it to increase or decrease in size proportionally. I'll hit enter. And now I'm going to click off of it. And let's see, how does this look? So I'm going to save that, file save it. And now it's been placed, it's been saved, and you can even get rid of the placeholder. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to. But just leave it there. Now we're going to go back to the untitled. <laughs> and in, in a lot of cases, guys, this is all you need to do. Now, you can make a lot of adjustments to this. Uh, uh, it comes with a default um, vintage photo paper here, as you can see here. But if that texture is not correct, you can go ahead and get your own textures um, off the Internet. There's tons of them out there and just swap them in. Uh, just unpop the lock and bah, there you go. So there's some of the things you can do, guys. Now I'll click on the... Uh, the house here, you can adjust the opacity. So if you want it to be a little brighter, not really good. You want it to go a little darker, maybe something like that. Okay, that might be more of the look you're going for. Let's just go back to like 67 or whatever we had it at. Yeah, let's go with 67. You can also, if you unlock that, you can change the photo paper opacity a little bit. Drop it down if you want a darker look. Keep it up and high. You can also change the, you know, the, oh, geez, that wasn't the one. Um... You can actually change the, the modes there, but that's actually not doing a whole hell of a lot. So skip out on that, guys. But really, that's all there is to it, to creating a vintage photo look. We, we, we can go into detail in um, further tutorials where if you want to bring in your own textures and go through this manually. But if you want to snap it up and just get her done, this is it, guys. Vintage photo look. Thanks for watching the tutorial. I'll be back more with some more Photoshop and video tutorials shortly. Talk to you soon.